Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So I have a very special video today. I have gone and done it. I purchased the most, for me, desired item from Noble Collection. The most expensive item I own from Noble Collection. Automatically my most prized possession. <laughs> I still can't believe I have it. It's something I have wanted for years. My earliest memory of this item being on sale was when I was watching, I think it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire or when I had the DVD and inside there was a booklet full of items from the film that you can buy. I don't know if it was like the early days of Noble Collection, I don't know how long Noble Collection have been a thing, I don't know, can't remember, but I remember this item being in that booklet and I just, I wanted it so much. It was one of those things I thought I would love that more than anything else in the world, but it's also something I will probably never get. And now, I have it. Even though I've wanted this item for such a long time, it's something I didn't think I would buy, at least not yet. I saw it as like something far away down the line that I would maybe purchase it then. But my partner just said, you know what, you can afford it at this moment in time. Why don't you get it now while you can, you know, because we're not in our own home right now. We are staying with his parents while we wait for our house to be ready we're saving money now, why don't you just get it now, you know, as a little gift for yourself for having to not be in your own home. I still can't believe I have it. I, I'm looking at it now and I just, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. And you're probably gonna hear me say things like that all through this video and no words are gonna be able to do it justice. I am, of course, talking about the magnificent stunning Hogwarts Castle sculpture. This sculpture costs £280 on Noble Collection. So you know by the fact that it's that price, it's going to be special, it's going to be good quality and it's going to be something I'm going to cherish for probably the rest of my life. It's very heavy, I am frightened to hold it in case I drop it but you know, that's when, that's when it comes in handy when I'm filming on my bed, you know, because if I drop it, it lands on my bed. It's a soft landing. But yeah, here it is. Isn't it just the most amazing thing you've ever seen? It's a Hogwarts. It's Hogwarts Castle. It has everything. It's, it's so beautifully detailed. Over here, we have what I believe is the Great Hall. And there's like a courtyard out the back there. That here is the boathouse, which isn't crystal like in the film. It's a normal boathouse. We have the viaduct bridge here. There are the greenhouses, the herbology greenhouses. There is a courtyard in the middle there. Over on the other side here is the owlery. Gosh, it's so heavy. Another courtyard here, which I think this must be the courtyard that Harry and Voldemort duel in in the film, because obviously in the book they do it in the Great Hall. What else can I say? And like I said, it's so heavy because it's, it's just so beautiful. Oh, and over here, here are the rocky bits that Harry, Ron and Hermione hide behind in Prisoner of Azkaban. The bit where Hermione punches Draco in Prisoner of Azkaban and then come down here and here's Hagrid's cabin and there's a little mini pumpkin patch as well. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. I need to put it down because my arm's aching. There's a boundary all around the outside. Obviously all of the towers, we have them, the biggest tower of all. It's the tallest tower so it must be the astronomy tower must be where astronomy is. This base actually comes off, so if I just lift up the actual castle itself, it comes off the base. So here is the base on, on its own. If I just pop that to one side, I will show you the base. So here is the base it comes with. It's a beautiful brown colour. It has this border around, all the way around the outside, this golden border with this really beautiful pattern on it. And on the front bit, it says Hogwarts. So, you, you know, you, you girls never gonna forget what this sculpture is. It's, it's Hogwarts Castle. I, I had to show it in its own video. It's the one thing I've wanted more than anything else. And it kind of feels like, I've peaked too soon, if you know what I mean, but there are so many other things from Noble Collection to get. And this is something I want I want to continue doing. I want to 
collect not necessarily everything from noble collection but i want to collect things it is the ultimate best place to collect prop replicas and sculptures and even just going into the shop in london is a, such a magical experience the shop itself is beautiful and whenever you buy something from noble collection the people behind the tills you can tell they are treating it with care because they know whether they're harry potter fans themselves or not they know how special these items are to the people buying them and you know what to be honest you'd have to be a Harry Potter fan to work in there wouldn't you I would have thought I, I just had to show you guys of course I had to show you guys I, I don't know I don't know what else to say it, it just has everything obviously it's kind of squeezed in you know I, I, I think the castle was a bit wide it was spread a bit wider but you know they had to do that in order to fit it all in which <laughs> no complaints about but yeah it's just so beautiful and you can see all the trees and all the greenery and just everything is there all the scenes all the outside scenes you see in all the films you can locate on this sculpture where it is but yeah just everything everything is here and it just means you can look at it in so much more detail and try and try and imagine where all the classes would be and where all the dormitories are obviously you can't tell like where Slytherins and Hufflepuffs is because they're down below and but yeah it's just so beautiful and my arm is aching from holding it up but I don't care oh I, I just I just love it so much and it is my prized possession it's my most favorite thing I will ever own probably oh worth every single penny if you were wondering whether or not you wanted to get this sculpture for yourself but were hesitating because of the money if you can afford it I definitely recommend it it's something you can keep on display in your home for the rest of your life and you you can just look at it every day and it just re-amazes you all over again because Hogwarts Castle is one of those places that every Harry Potter fan would love to be real more than anything else in the world. I I've had dreams about going to Hogwarts. I've written fan fiction where I've been a character in the Harry Potter universe and I was able to go around Hogwarts. I love the films, I love seeing the overhead shots of the castle and all the scenes within the castle, reading about it in the books and everything everything about Hogwarts Castle you know it's the one place Harry and Voldemort both love and both called home whether you're the most evil wizard of all time or the boy hero boy who lived Harry Potter you both appreciate the castle oh I just don't know what else to say I, I just love it so much I can't stop looking at it you know it at the moment it's on the shelf up here above my magical creatures and I look at it every morning and can just see the silhouette and I imagine that I'm like in Hogsmeade or something looking up at Hogwarts like looking out the window and like oh there's Hogwarts. Let me know what you guys think about this castle in the comments below. Is it something that you own? Is it something you'd love to get one day? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to leave a like because that would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.